Hi all, we're going to be doing graphing and we're talking about dilations. And we have this stretch factor with a dilation that tells us whether we shrink or expand. And if it's one half, that means we shrink everything by two times. If it's two, we multiply everything by two times, right? So if that number is less than one, we shrink. If that number is bigger than one, we stretch. So that means the one half means take all your coordinates and divide them by two. So we, and, and let's go in this order because I mean, we don't have to, but it just saves us a little bit of heartache. So if we, if we start at uh, six zero and we bring it down to half, right? Six goes to three. And then we'll do L next. So L is at 10, four, right? It's at 10, negative four. So it needs to go down to five, negative two. Two and we want to be careful because it's a pain to get these wrong. Uh, five negative two. All right, and then m is at ten two, so half of that should be five one, and then n is at six four, so half of that should be three, two. And the shape should look kind of like, that's kind of cool, right? The shape should look like if you're, if you're standing here, like you're getting some kind of like 3D like vortex when you look at the small one and the big one. I don't know if we're gonna get through all these because these, these take a little bit of time. They're really cool, but they take a little bit of time. All right. So we have a scale factor of five. Um, so let's go in the order of A, B, C, D. That means we multiply everything by five, right? So this negative two, one gets sent to negative 10, five, right? So negative two, one gets sent to negative 10, five. Then we'll do B, which is here. That's at negative one zero, so it'll just get sent to negative five. C is at zero one, so it should get sent to zero five. And you can kind of tell where the last thing should be. This one's at negative one two, so it should get sent to negative five ten. Right there. Okay, and that is five times this. We've stretched everything out by five. Awesome. It's really, it, it looks really cool. Just take some patience. Just, just be patient. Go in the order of PQRS. You can actually go, you just have to go in the order of the vertices. You can't do like S and then Q, but you could do S, R, Q, P as well. But that's just specific to this program. So if we have P here and we're uh, shrinking everything by five, uh, we have negative five, five. Okay, that's nice. So that's divided by five. That should just be negative one, one. Now, when we go to Q, that's a nice one. Zero, zero, zero divided by five is just zero, zero divided by five is zero. You can kind of tell this other one will be here, right? But let's go do the math. So it's five comma five. Dividing both of those by five will give us one comma one. And then this is zero comma 10. So dividing both of those by five will give us zero comma two. So that's shrunk by a factor of five. Great. Okay. How about this? We have a dilation with a scale factor of one fourth. So everything gets divided by four. So they're making it slightly easier for us now that everything's on the axis. So this gets divided by four. So that's, let's go in the order. So that's A. This gets divided by four. So that's B is just one. Eight divided by two is two. Four divided by four is one. So that, that's easier. Okay, 
So now, again, it's dilation of 1 fourth, so everything gets divided by 4, all coordinates. So this is negative 4, 4, so let's start with A. So this is 0, negative 4, so 0 divided by 4 is 0. Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1, so it should start there. B will go to negative 1, 1, because it was at negative 4, 4, so it'll be at negative 1, 1. C was at 8, 4. You divide it by 4, you'll get to 8 divided by 4, so it's 2, 1. And then D is 8, negative 4 divided by 4, and you get 2, negative 1. You can kind of also tell that like the shape has to be retained. So since that was like a right angle, this has to also be here. Cool. All right. Uh, this is a dilation with a scale factor of 2. All right. So we have to multiply everything by 2. So we're at 4, negative 2. So we'll be at 8 negative 4. And then L was at 3, 4, so it'll be at 6, 8. Got to be careful here. 3, 4, 6, 8. M is at 5, 4, so it needs to be at 10. 8, and n is at 5, negative 2, so it needs to be at 10, negative 4. And at the end, you remember your shape should look like your little person here and you're looking out. It looks like it's growing. Your person at the origin and you're looking out, it looks like it's growing. Okay, sweet. Let's hope. Okay, let's see if we can do these fast. So scale factor of five, everything gets multiplied by five. When things are on the axis, it's way easier, right? Like zero, zero just gets, always stays at zero, zero. Um, one, two is going to go to five, sorry, one, negative two is going to go to five, negative ten. Two, two zero is going to go to ten, zero. And then one, two is going to go to five, ten. And that looks right. Cool. All right. Uh, everything gets divided by three here. We start at P. It's at negative four, two. So it will be at negative two, one. Q was at 0, negative 2, so it'll be at 0, negative 1. R was at 4, 2, so it will be at 2, 1. S is at 0, 6, so it should be at 0, 3. Cool. All right, we divide everything by 2, scale factor of 1 half. So P was at negative 2, 6, so it'll be at negative 1, Q was at 4, 4, so it should be at 2, 2. R was at 10, 6, so it should be at 5, 3. S was at 4, 8, so it should be at 2, 4. That checks out. That looks right. Okay, one more. Scale factor of one half, so everything gets divided by two. Start with E, so we're at six, negative two. We will get to three, negative one. F is at 10, 10, so it should move to 10, negative 10, so it should move to five, negative five. G was at 10, negative four, so it should move to five, 5, negative 2, and H was at 6, 2, so it should move to 3, 1.
Okay, that looks right, right guys? Yep, looks right. Great, sweet. So that was really fun. Just be patient. Uh, take all your coordinates, divide them by the denominator or multiply them by the number if it's bigger than one. And yeah, practice and that'll make perfect. See ya.